Guru Nation, how's it going? Wake up with me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Literally just woke up having my morning coffee and I got, I open my phone and I get a question. I get a text. Anybody can text me too. 949-415-6256. This person says, Dan, I have a PhD. I have all this academic experience in clinical research and not, not even academic like dealing with patients just like grant writing and working with IRBs and things like that. Like no patient interaction, no real clinical stuff. Yes, they maybe wrote, helped write some protocols, things like that. Can they be a CRA? So while this PhD is certainly way more qualified than most PhDs who ask me this question, my answer is still the same. Just because you have a PhD or a master's in whatever, science, let's say, does not mean you're gonna be a CRA right away. You need experience. Now this person, again, they're farther ahead than most, but they don't have real clinical experience. As a PhD, you could work at a site, you could be a sub-investigator, you can be a raider. For psychiatric trials, I keep saying this is such an underrated position for PhDs, psychometric raider. You need to get your hands dirty with real clinical things. Like it's great that you did protocol work, grant writing, all that other stuff. You need hands-on either patient interaction or somehow auditing or quality assurance for source documents, which is one step removed from patient activity. So remember, I always say the closer to the patient you are, the closer to the action you are. So CRAs are fairly close. They're only one step removed from the actual patients. They're looking at the actual source documents. Uh, even though they're not dealing with the patients as a CRA, they're dealing with the source documents. Coordinators are on the level of the patients. So that's their, they are where the action is. So this person or anybody with a PhD you got to start looking for how close can you get to the actual action. You need that kind of experience on your resume. My CRA Academy, CRC Academy, they help with that. The internships have that component, even if it's remotely. Um, it, I would try to get that opportunity. It sounds like you're at a place where you can get that opportunity. Ask them if you could be a sub by. Ask them if you could be a quality assurance. Ask them if you can help with anything, even like regulatory to some extent, not just grants and looking at protocols, but actual like delegation of authorities log, filing IRB submissions. Maybe this person's done a little bit of that. So again, they're off to a better start than most that ask this question. But yes, get some as close to the patient activity experience as you can get. And then once you have that with a PhD or a master's in science, you're unstoppable. I mean, you could be literally anything you want. You can be a clinical trial manager at some point. It's not gonna happen overnight and you gotta work your way to that point and you gotta get closer to the action, but you're almost there. Take care.